All the best. Uh, it's Katie Fordable. Into the second round then in the last event of the six we've brought to you this weekend Outside. live on PDC TV. This is the women's series and at the end of this event one player will seal a spot at the Grand Slam of Darts. It will be either Fallon Sherrick or Lisa Ashton. Before we learn which one it is, the other players are battling it out to strengthen their bid for potential 96. places at the World Championship or just to improve on what they've done in the women's series before. And here we see 60. Joe Clements, who reached the quarterfinals of one of the events last year, taking on Katie Sheldon, who very much will be using this as a, a learning curve, a young rising star of the sports who's benefited a little bit from the advice of 60. my co-commentator Colin Lloyd over the course of this weekend. When she's had the benefit of your advice, Colin, whether she takes it or not is a different matter, isn't it? So, so true. So, so true. 97. 95. Yeah, particularly when she's switching around the ball. She is a very fast player, very tightly grouped around that treble 20. It works in 60. her favour then. But when she has to move around the board for finishes and things, and that's when it can just, or she could just do with... Slowing down a little bit. 85. Apologies again for a slight technical difficulty. I was having a conversation with Colin Lloyd, but you weren't hearing it. Basically, he said everything I said was right. Is that right? 21. If you say so. <laughs> Is there anybody there? Yeah, she's a good young player. But sometimes, like, uh, that, that, that proves a point. You know, she had a fabulous treble 20 there. And then before you know, boom, the, the next dart had gone, you know. Just 108. Give yourself a couple of seconds. Just give yourself a couple of seconds. A second, even. Yeah. Clements. Wants to try and use that guide. Now it might be difficult. Can she find her way through the barricades? No score. As Tony Hadley might say. She couldn't. Game just sneak, sneaked in, hasn't it? From that's Sheldon. I was just about to say, I think that's in. Made it almighty. He thought it must have almost gone through the wire, that one. Sheldon has the lead after Clements failed to find that double two and the ones before it. Well, a break of throw for Katie Sheldon and a nice 100. steady 83 away on her own throw. One hundred. I have to say she's getting a lot more composed as time goes on, and that's all about the experience of playing up against 140. some of the best lady players in the world. I will say one thing, one advantage of having all these events back to back to back over the course of a weekend is that if you do want to try something or learn from something, you've got the chance to go and put it right or try it immediately in another important match. Well, you'll have known what it was like when you were the peak of your powers, even 100. on top of the professional game. Sometimes you have to wait weeks, even months for a tournament. Yeah, a lot of the players 81. on tour these days, you know, I'm not going to say they're spoilt, but, you know, they've got so many events now where you don't have to really think about those sides of the thing, Burp, because 101. you're playing so often now that you can put things right within a match, like you said. 59. 
and it, and it, it's it's great for those players, you know. And they should welcome it with open arms, having all those events. This has been a very very tidy leg from Clements, 100, 140, a turn and 101. Game shot. And out on 60 for a 15 darter. That's the way to go about breaking back and levelling up. Clements claims the second leg to tie things up at one apiece. Just two players through to the last 16 40. so far. Lisa Ashton, one of them, mentioned that already. Corinne Hammond has joined her. Hammond beating Chloe O'Brien 4-3. 60. One hundred and forty. Throw some good stuff as Clements here. Starting to get her scoring boots on. Forty one. Certainly posing a problem for Katie Sheldon. Maybe Twinkle will be the star at the end of this one. Forty one. Well, I don't know if you know this. But now that you've brought it up. 60. Did you know the song Twinkle Twinkle Little Star? It was actually wrote in my hometown of Colchester. Was it? Not a lot of people know that. But you all do now. They do now, yes. 140. Is it a ancestor of yours that penned it? Uh, I don't think so. 80. Well, Joe Clements here is... Got a score and boots on and now has the comfort of having six darts to try and check out this 140. 60. I feel like I have to come back with some fun facts about Huddersfield, where I was born. I mean, it was voted the worst place to live a couple of years ago. 80. I'm not sure if everybody needs to know about that, do they? Especially if they live in a HD postcode. Clements here. Looking for double top. 40. Fun facts from Lloydy. 40. Any more? 60. Any more in the up the sleeve? Saving them for the last few matches of the weekend. Yeah, last few matches. Yeah, can't spoil our listeners, and viewers. Game shot. Well, Sheldon's chances of taking that leg have been spoiled. Clemens is playing decent darts here. Let's turn this around. 108. What a way to come back. Responded to with a, a gesture as if to say, where have you been? 81. Yeah, when she throws like that, it is a joy to watch. 81. One hundred. I mentioned that quarter final run for Clements at last 85. year's women's series. Hasn't been anywhere near as successful this time around. Won her first two matches on day one in event one, but since then this is as far as she's been. Ninety five. So looking to bookend her stay here in Milton Keynes with a couple of decent runs. 60. A little bit of board management there from young Katie. She went up to try and hit the treble 20. She should have come. I think she should have come down for the 19s. Bullseye now, anyway. 70. But where she left the awkward 95 finish, she could have still left herself 96. And by that, Murph, I mean she could have had two darts at treble 20. Choices here now for Clements. 82. Treble 14 is probably the shot in this position. Couldn't find it. Sheldon will return trying to tie it up. Katie hasn't made it past the second round yet this <coughs> weekend.
17. She might be slipping behind again here. Tops here Clint. for Joe Clements. But she duly cleans up for a 3 1 lead. You know, if, if Katie does go out to, at this 52. point, Murph, you know, just take some positives away from it. And, you know, she's got a long career ahead of her. As long as she stays keen 13. and she practices hard, the rewards will come. Remember the story of the day is that race for the Grand Slam and the way it's going to work 59. is as simple as this. Whoever goes further between Lisa Ashton and Fallon Sherrick will take that Grand Slam spot. Well, 60. Ashton is through to the last 16 already. Fallon Sherrick has just booked her place in the last 16. And her match in the last 16 will be on this stream next. And she faces... Dita Hedman. 58. That is a huge match coming up next here. As Fallon Sherrick looks to keep her hopes of grabbing a Grand Slam spot at the first attempt alive. Remember, only Lisa Ashton has beaten Fallon Sherrick, but Dita Hedman is the best of the rest. And certainly five. capable we saw in that final at the end of yesterday. Yeah, they treated us to a great final, didn't they, last night? 81. Jo will be thinking to herself here, if I can just put a couple of solid what throws together, oh. I could maybe put this game to bed. Nice little one, two, five there to leave yourself a one, five, two. 60. Sixty. So to stay alive, one four eight in three darts, or if not, six if she's given the opportunity. Sixty. She will get the opportunity, but it might only be a dart at the bullseye. 52. 18 for ball now then. Oh, just rushed it a little bit. KT. Forty-eight. Well, unfortunately, she didn't get that dart at the bullseye. So Joe Clements now stepping up for tops to try and seal this match. Game shot and the match, Joe Clements. And it's in the top corner, and Joe Clements okay. advances okay. to the last 16 for the second time this week.